Hello guys, welcome back to Intel Electronics. So in today's episode, let's take a look at this DL50D3 EMI filter. This is an industrial grade filter that is rated for 50 amps of current at 250 volts AC. And this is actually a single phase unit. You can see the outputs and inputs and an earth line. The condition of this thing is really bad because it's still functional but it is just rusted outside because as I said, this is typically used in industrial environment. This is a back side of it. It was sealed using lead. So it will take some time to actually take it out. So uh, let's try to heat it and let's try to open it somehow. Before that, let me just give you an overview of this. This was actually used in a very high power inverter. And you can see at the back side, it is uh, lead sealed and I tried to open it with screwdrivers and things like that. So, and it won't work. So let's try to cut it open or heat it open. Let's open it somehow. And as I said, this was used in an industrial grade inverter and uh, to at the input side to avoid all the interference from going back to the AC mains line. So now I have cut open the back side of it. I use propane torch to heat the back side and I use the screwdriver to pry it open. That's how I was able to take it out. And once that is removed, here is what's inside of it. This is completely disappointing because it's, it's full and full completely potted. And it's not the kind of soft silicon compound that they have used. This is completely solid as a rock. So you can see there is no point of trying to pry it out any further because that's only going to damage it even further. We cannot see what's inside of it because it's completely potted. And this is not I was expecting because you know this being an industrial grade device it has to go through a lot of dust debris so who knows what what comes next. So in such kind of situation, this kind of protection will be much more uh, needed. So hence why here is another example for you. This is now an almost perfect representation of what's inside this porting uh, ported unit. This is a commercial grade unit and this is an industrial grade unit. That's the only difference. So let me show you that this can be a very close approximation of what's inside of it. In this one, you can see a couple of capacitors and MOVs, a chalk of course, and here it's mark line phase neutral this is also a single phase unit so we can see this is where the earth goes and this is only everything is in series you can see like that so let's assume that this is going to be the same circuit that's inside the industrial grid unit as well at least so far that's the only thing we can do because that is completely sealed you can see it's marked input and output a couple of movies and other things which could be here but will be well hidden inside the uh, porting compound so yeah, this is a choke that you can see right there in front of it, kind of beefier version of it because it's a 50 amp rated unit. This one on this, on the other hand is something like 3K and uh, the chokes must be able to handle all those things. That's why it's beefier. You can see multiple turns at the pins of this one. You can see the contacts also, they're all much more bigger and beefier because this one is something, I, I, if I believe that this one is only rated for like one to two K of current. The protection capacitors the movies in series and i'm not sure whether those are present inside the porting compound because you know it's ported very well ported so we cannot see so unfortunately this video is all about failure so anyway i'm just going to publish it yeah sometimes things will get really disappointing anyway thanks for watching guys see you with another video